creator of the Broadway show, Stop Shane The show details the trailblazers in the early 1900s who fought for and got women the right to vote. And our next guest is also a very impressive change maker who I first met last year over Zoom. Right away, I knew I wanted her here in person physically. She's incredible and she told us a little about her efforts to get books into the hands of underserved kids, especially those in rural communities. And what started in her home state of West Virginia has now gone nationwide from the Literary Society. Say hi to Rania, everybody. What is the what does the book club look like? Because now you have a mission, but you also still talk about books, right? Yes, but so we spend half of our meetings. We still have our book club element, and we discuss a classic book over tea. And then we yeah. spend the other half of our meetings discussing our charitable mission, which is ending book deserts for disadvantaged preschool children. And yeah. In this country, that means Head Start, which is the federal program for preschool children that live at or below the poverty line. Yeah. And so we donate brand new books to children in Head Start programs throughout the nation. And so we spend that other half of our meetings of our uh, planning our upcoming uh, book visits when yeah. we bring books to children in Head Start and our fundraisers and book drives and all of that so we can get more books into the hands you of children. You are such an incredible young woman. Oh my God. <laughs> You were similarly like driven, right? Whenever you were you were younger. So what kept you motivated to like keep reading, get in, get in? I'm so excited here. I also would have loved to be in this book club. I, I know. was huge in a babysitters club. Oh, I read that. Oh yeah. Boxcar children. I'm Definitely older than boxcar you. children. Okay, okay. Yes. Harriet the Spy. I mean, books were the whole way. I felt like I could see myself and what I wanted to do with my life. And so, especially if you didn't have much. Like I didn't have yeah. much growing up, and I felt like it was like opportunity and like dreaming bigger than maybe your reality. Like it opens up a whole world for kids. So how? It's been going on six years, right? So how has it grown? Yes. Oh, it's grown tremendously. We started out as a group of 20 girls, and now we're 2,000 worldwide. Yes. And we have donated books. It started out, we donated books to all of the children in Head Start and in foster care in my small county in West Virginia. Yeah. And then now we have donated brand new books to children in all 50 states. That's and incredible. including the most remote. <laughs> The most remote places that needed yeah. it? The most remote regions of our nation. Like, we donated brand new books to a Head Start Center in Alaska, yeah. where the books had to be uh, sent by boat, yeah. and also um, books um, to a Head Start Center inside of the Grand Canyon in Arizona. That's so And cool. it was delivered by the last remaining U.S. postal mule train. Three hours down, Pete the Cat books, three hours down into the canyon by mule. Can I tell five you hours that this up. is a children's book, the, what you're yes. saying? Like this whole, Keep how the, the books <laughs> got to the, this is the children's book in itself. Just yes. so you, you should write one, I'm just saying. I have great <laughs> ideas. Yeah. So Rania, you've also taken your mission to the Senate. So tell us about your Senate resolution. Yes, I am now the youngest author of a successful U.S. Senate resolution That's in incredible. history. That's incredible. Look at you looking like a boss in that photo. <laughs> It's actually, um, I say it's a bipartisan Senate resolution, but I, it's also tripartisan because one of the uh, co-sponsors of the Senate resolution is an independent senator as yeah. well. And so that's just... incredible. But what's next for you? What's on the agenda? You're so young, but I feel like you're a superhero. So what are you doing next? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm currently on a gap year. Okay. And so next year I'll be going to college. And I am starting a collegiate network of the Literary Society. It's yeah. currently underway, but we have yeah. chapters of the Literary Society starting at college campuses all across the nation, UNC, WVU, yeah. UPenn, Princeton, and where I'm going, Stanford. And yeah. then we Can are- Can you cool, sure. <laughs> I'm going to Stanford, sure. And, um, in my gap year, I am completely dedicated to my mission of ending book desert. So I've been traveling throughout the nation and going to Head Start centers and surprising all of the children with brand new books to take home. Yeah. And my long term goal, don't laugh, but it's very ambitious. I have never, I dream big, girl. I don't know how I got this yes. show, but look, <laughs> it can happen. <laughs> Stuff can happen. <laughs> my biggest dream in the world, it's very ambitious, but it's to be. Yeah, U.S. Secretary of Education. Hey. I think that that's totally, who would laugh at that? You look at what you've accomplished at such a young age. You are well on your way. Well, we have someone
one here who is very impressed um, with how much you've already accomplished and your goals for the future and who will not laugh at you. And like me, she wanted to meet you in person. So you'll probably recognize her. She's an author, attorney, child advocate. Oh, and she happens to be the former US Secretary of State. We call her a whole lot of woman. She literally said, oh my gosh, in slow motion. It was amazing. <laughs> so you, you both have surprises, right? Yes, Vera? yes. Rania, we are so excited to invite you to see Suffs on Broadway and take a backstage tour and meet the cast. We cannot wait to have you. The cast will be so excited to meet you and yes. have you at the show. Oh, right? yeah. 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 true. And, and we want you to have just the most amazing experience because you are in the, you know, business of really telling people they can be more than they think because you're giving them books and you're opening up doors and we want to sort of help you do that and support you in your work going forward and so when you see Suffs you'll be I know inspired to see women who were fighting for their cause at their time and know that they were laughed at they were they were abused they were thrown in prison they were force fed because they wanted the right to vote so who cares what people Say, I use mean, it. It's really, cool. you've got to do what you believe in and what is making you get up every morning with a passion to make a difference. And you are. So keep it up. You are incredible. Thank you.